All right, guys, so with Peppermint Cookies promotion event only lasting for another couple of days, and with the new reset happening for Arena very, very soon, I just wanted to kind of quickly go over the place where Peppermint is right now for the current meta. So if you guys have been playing the Arena and you guys have watched my live streams as well, you guys would have seen Peppermint Cookie actually being used a lot throughout the last couple days of the Arena after the release of no other than Crimson Coral. So right now, Peppermint has kind of gone up into the meta as of right now especially because of the synergy that they have with snapdragon as well as crimson coral and sometimes even with someone like sea fairy so in this video what i want to go over is whether you guys should really be pulling for peppermint cookie right now with the couple days left in the promotion event or whether you guys should be waiting for frill jellyfish and see if she is going to be better investment than peppermint cookie all right so let's just quickly go over peppermint cookie skill and why you know people started using peppermint cookie inside of their team so peppermint cookie is going to be healing 170 percent of the attack as well as give debuff resist for 35 percent damage resist as well as a hp shield which is going to block 15 percent of max hp for five seconds and on top of that like i said we do have that 607.4 percent water damage that peppermint is able to do and it also going to be healing a secondary time based on the amount of damage that peppermint cookie was able to do 95 percent of the water damage dealt all right and the healing is capped at 200 of peppermint cookies attack which is going to be right now for my peppermint cookie at five star promotion 80 000. so before the release of crimson coral the reason why peppermint cookie was not used was because of the fact that rockstar as well as parfait with snapdragon were already really 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 good and had a solid foundation within the meta however with the release of crimson coral who is able to not only increase the size of the back lane because you are missing one of the tanks like holiday and pataya now you have the ability to deal even more water damage because crimson coral is able to go and you know give some extra water type damage as well and on top of that crimson coral is also able to provide some extra damage resist to your cookies and also on top of that you know have these insane amount of buffs that you know is going to revolve around using crimson coral inside of your team as the only tank all right so because of that fact peppermint cookie along with someone like snapdragon and with someone like Crimson Coral has been used together to increase the overall damage resist of your entire team as well as give some insane amount of debuff resist and also on top of that the stun resistant that Snapdragon is able to give which makes your 2 DPS just absolutely almost unkillable on paper all right because now you're able to get a damage resist from a uh, snapdragon which is going to be a total of 15 percent right over here and then on top of that with peppermint you have a additional 14.5 percent and with crimson coral you're also able to give a total of 25 percent right here so with that insane amount of damage resist to your tanks with the whistle now you get additional uh, you know, 20% damage resist. Stardust also has a built-in damage resist as well, which is the reason why Stardust is actually being used a lot with Peppermint as well, 35%. And then on top of that, you have someone like Black Pro who's just able to dodge and, uh, you know, go and use her skill as long as she survives. So that's the reason why Peppermint Cookie has been going around the arena so much, all right, at the end because of that fact, all right? So you guys can see right up here, there's a Peppermint comp right there. Uh, you know, there's a Peppermint comp right there. There's a Peppermint comp right there. And yeah, it's just going around. And you guys probably saw it within my last, you know, couple hours of arena run for the uh, season. You guys would have seen me use a lot of Peppermint comps as well. So that is pretty much the reason why Peppermint Cookie is being used right now. And even against my defense team right now, against this one right here, if I do go up against it with this team, which is using five Swift Chocolate, five, uh, four of the Juicy Apple Jelly, one Swift Chocolate to have a three second start, five Swift Chocolate, five Swift Chocolate, and five Swift Chocolate, then, you know, uh, as long as my starters does crit, I am able to also defeat these kind of comps as well. And you guys saw that other players also were able to defeat my comp using a very similar comp all right so you know right now with crimson coral and also players utilizing right now sea fairy some in some cases it's actually going to be really common to see a peppermint cookie instead of someone like rockstar because now crimson coral is also give uh giving some curse protection as well so rockstar is not being used as often because now you have you know somebody else that is able to go 
give you guys the buff that you know we're not given uh, if you were not using Rockstar. Uh, so right now that is going to be you know the two usage right now, and also on top of that, you do see that you know the the heal and the shield is really really good uh, because you're stacking from the shield from Crimson Coral. You're stacking the shield from Peppermint, you're stacking the shield from Snapdragon, giving an unlimited amount of shield to your cookies. All right, so that's the main reason why Peppermint is being used really, really good. And the ultimate question now comes down to, do you need to pull for Peppermint Cookie? And, you know, uh, sh should you use your crystals, right, that you're going to get in a couple of hours for the arena onto the gacha because we do have the promotion event going on. And that is going to last for another about two days or so before the most likely the next maintenance for the update happens and most likely in a couple of days as well we are probably getting a trailer video for frill jellyfish and additional to that probably going to be a magic candy for sorbet shark as well and in my opinion the answer to whether you should invest in peppermint cookie or not as of right now is really going to come down to what kind of class is frill jellyfish going to be is frill jellyfish going to be a healer who is going to be a safeguarded because of the lore behind her story or is she going to be another like attacking cookie because in the story she does seem like she is able to attack as well is she going to be someone like a magic or is she going to be someone like a range or even a bomber and you know become a summon unit we don't know uh so it's really going to ultimately come down to what kind of skill frill jellyfish is going to have and uh with that you're most likely going to be able to see you know whether you want to invest in peppermint right now or not of course peppermint cookies banner is not disappearing right away so we still have 22 or uh 21 days i believe as of right now of the time of the recording and most likely after the update we're going to have around 18 days left when fro jellyfish actually comes out so peppermint cookies not disappearing but it's just going to come down to whether you want to really invest in peppermint before the fro jellyfish banner comes out because you are able to go and take advantage of the promotion event all right but just wanted to let you guys know because of the fact that we did kind of you know state before the release of crimson coral that peppermint cookie was not going to be used as much but with the release of crimson coral and with sea fairy now being used a little bit more often with the higher level crystal jam you're going to see a lot more peppermints and uh, you're going to see a lot more water uh, element comms come out and you know in the end the question comes down to whether you want to invest in them or not and for me personally if you do have crimson coral it's not a bad idea if you don't have rockstar if you don't have parfait if you even don't have snapdragon the peppermint is going to be a really 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 solid support for you guys and if you guys would like to utilize some of these water comps that are coming out then peppermint is not going to be a bad idea and also something that peppermint allows along with someone like crimson coral and snapdragon is that you're also able to decrease the amount of damage resist for your cookies as well so you know the average damage resist that you really want to have for your cookies without a solid almond is usually around 20 to 25 percent or even higher however with peppermint snapdragon and crimson coral you're able to drop that you know damage resist a little bit and focus a little bit more on something like crit or something like uh you know cooldown and things like that uh that's what my uh you know guild member has tested out and it worked out pretty well so those are also options as well if you guys do use peppermint all right uh so just keep that in mind guys just want to kind of let you guys know that peppermint is actually being used and the reason why peppermint is being used and in the end whether you guys want to invest in them or not as of right now with the promotion event going on if you guys ever do decide to use peppermint just realize that peppermint is going to be using five of the swift chocolate and you want to focus on that damage resist even though you know you're going to get some damage resist from the skill you still want peppermint to be pretty solid and then of course you want to focus on that cooldown and then the next offset that will help out is going to be most likely crit because if you're able to crit your heal then you're going to be doing some insane amount of healing for your cookies so just wanted to kind of update you guys on that and uh just kind of uh, answer the question on why peppermint is being used right now inside of the arena and allow you guys to make that decision in the end whether you guys want to pull for them or not anyways guys thanks for watching i will be updating you guys whenever the update video drops for frill jellyfish but good luck with the next arena season and i'll see you guys all on the next one